So it's our first proper night investigation here at the castle. But uh, just before we start the investigation, I just thought I'd share with you some of the uh, experiences that people have had and written about during their stay here. Now, are these experiences what I'm going to tell you about? Are they environmental? Is it is it psychological just because they're in a, an alleged haunted building? Because obviously when you walk in here, it does look spooky. So is that... Uh, anything to do with these stories that I'm going to read out to you. I'll let you make your own mind up with that one. But these are some of the experiences that some people have had and what's happened to them while they've been staying here in the castle. A couple of very, very recent entries in, in the book here and somebody's put, uh, once inside we could feel the right-hand side was very different to the left-hand side. First night, fine. Second night, things started to happen. Watch out for the lady on the stairs. And that's the last entry in the book. Uh, it was first night again, was all calm. Second and third night, we were all squashed up in the West Tower as far away as the Queen's Room as possible. So that's another story that was put in the visitor's book. Quite a long story. Something else he wrote was, uh, my story at the castle has been an extremely insightful, relaxing, fun, crazy, spooky, emotional, educational, and a joyful experience. The castle, when I first arrived, had a spooky feel, as any old building would have, with a constant feeling of being watched and not wanting to be in any room alone. I was pleasantly surprised not experience any noises the first night, but this made me feel more comfortable in the castle and move around more freely. It wasn't until the second night in I was awoken at 3am by a donk donk, to which I can only describe as a metal pan being hit twice with a wooden spoon. I thought, I may have dreamt it, so relaxed and fell back to sleep when donk, donk, again, the sound even louder, travelled up the stairway to me in the double bedroom above the kitchen. A little scared, I led there, hoping for it not to happen again, or at least not get any louder, travelling up the stairs towards my room, and then another donk, donk. This time it was further away, at the bottom of the stairs, I'm assuming it was outside the bathroom. Then donk. Donk, louder again. At this point, I needed confirmation that I wasn't hearing things and I was a little scared experiencing this alone. I woke my mother, who was in the double bedroom with me, and told her what I had heard about three minutes later. Again, donk, donk. She heard the same noise and so did my other roommate who was sleeping on a mattress in our room. It happened about twice after and we certainly discussed what we think it sounded like, where it was coming from, etc. This is when we started to hear what sounded like a child running up and down the stairs. This lasted for about 20 minutes. Myself and my roommate said also that we saw lights, an amber light was seen in the corner of the room and a swirl of white fog that vanished as soon as I seen it again. I was not feeling unsettled, but I was more intrigued. So that's another story, uh, again, relating to the same room. This what relates to the Queen's bedroom and also the chapel area of the we also put it's now 2 a.m. and we are all in bed. The events of the last two hours are too harrowing to record in detail. Doorknobs moving by themselves, children, women singing downstairs, the dog getting all growly at the room in the corner of the king's room. I'll be fairly glad to leave this spookiness behind me. I'm not even the sort who believes in spooks. So this is our first night at the castle and the fog has come down dramatically outside. It's really, really foggy out there. Uh, just left the kitchen door open and the fog is that thick. It actually went into into the uh, into the kitchen area where the uh, hub is. It, it's that bad. It's, it really is quite thick now. So I'm just down in the old kitchen area of the castle. This is where the, the main kitchen would have been. First impressions, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic place. This place, it, it's very big, and some of the stories that I've, I've read in the books have been really interesting. Uh, people's experiences uh, here when they when they've been staying here, and I've been looking back over the stories over the last fifteen twenty years, and a lot of the stories I've heard in in, in what's happened to people in the castle. A lot of the stories are, are the same. Nothing seems to happen to people on the first night. It always seems to be the second and third night. Something's happened to them. And this is our second night tonight. We didn't investigate last night. We just obviously, because we were tired, we just settled down and got to know the building a little bit. So hopefully something may happen tonight, maybe. Hopefully.
but it's going to get quite bad now in the kitchen. So as you can see there, that's the big open fireplace. It goes from one side of the room to the other. It really is big. So this is, as I say, the main kitchen area of the castle. And as you walk through that door there, it goes into like, uh, I think it used to be the kitchen storeroom. I think that's what that little bit used to be in there. Nothing's happened to me up to now, nothing happened to me last night really, at all. Um, my brother was in bed and he heard what he thought was a latch come down on the door. He said it was really loud and that's what it sounded like, whether it was that or something natural happening in the building, uh, I wouldn't know. just my foot on a piece of paper. I wonder what that was then, it's just a little bit of paradolly on the wall. Very, very cold in here also. It's very, very cold. No heating at all down here, so there shouldn't be any, uh, anything cooling down or anything like that happening in here. I'm calling out to the spirits of the castle, this castle, this kitchen. If there's any spirits that wish to communicate with me, then please come forward and give me a sign that you are here. My name is Phil. Anybody work down here or anything like that, you want to come forward and give me a sign, then please feel free to do so. I'm actually stood now right under the, uh, right under the chimney and on my camera up there you can see there's the chimney top quite a way up that isn't it what's this other room let's put my torch on there I can't really see where I'm going so this, I think this part of the the building was the um, undercroft. It's not an undercroft, sorry, I apologise. This is the what I think was the old storeroom for the kitchen. Come on, is there any spirit people with me? Anybody that wishes to communicate with me, come forward to give us a sign that you are here. Just make a noise for me. Hear your voice. You want to close one of these doors and please feel free to do so. There's noise above me now, I don't know if that was with me. You go there. Let's give him a call now, are you? See if you know what? Yeah, are you making the noise? Well, I thought I heard something before, but as I was talking to you, I've just had two massive big knocks, like somebody knocking on, on the window or on the door, but it sounded like it was coming from the fireplace, and it was a really, really big two raps. No, well it sounded just like it was a door. Well, I thought I heard something before, and that's why I was giving you a call. And as I was calling you, there was two massive big knocks. But it sounded...
receive it. Yeah, I didn't hear a thing to be honest. Well, if that hasn't come up, if that hasn't been picked up on camera, then two knocks, I will be very surprised, very surprised. Well, I was in the room where the fireplace was, and then uh, I came out of that room and went into the next room. I was asking for knocking noises and tapping, and I thought I heard something. So I thought, I wonder if it was you, and then, as I was asking you, there was massive two raps, and it sounded like somebody was banging on the door, but there's no door there, it was weird. I don't know. Yeah, I'll carry on with it. So I just hope that was caught on camera. Um, I thought it was my brother upstairs and he on the radio. I asked him if it was him and it sounded like a door. That sounded like something was wrapping, but there's no door in that room. But that was really loud. And it was a typical two knocks. If that was you knocking before, thank you very much, can you do that again? Bang twice for me, please. Rap on something again. Come on, do something. That was really loud in here. There's no door in that room, I don't think. But it sounded like it come from the fireplace, but it just sounded like a door. Definitely sound like something being just somebody knocking on, on, on a wooden door. Well, if that was you banging before and do it again, make that noise again for me. Just gonna go in. Yeah. To this room, just see if there is a door. I can't want to remember. This is a door behind. Now there's a door. But it didn't sound like it was coming from that area of the room. It sounded like it came from over there. So I'm not sure. I'm just gonna abandon this door myself. Next to the Don't worry, I'll be fat the kind of noise, I really don't know. Come on. Make that noise again. Tap on something. Make yourself be known. We know you're not shy at coming forward. We know you're not shy at making noises. So come on, do something. on the floor that I'm just trod in, trod on. Is there any servants down here? Any servants that wish to communicate with me, come forward, make a noise, see your voice.
required now. I don't feel spooked at all. Um, I'm just intrigued to what them, them tapping noises was because they weren't normal noises, they weren't building noises, if you know what I mean. Just intrigued what, what those noises were. There was nothing down this uh, old kitchen area to make that kind of noise. There is a door there, like I say. It does sound like something knock knock from the door. Come on, spirit, we know you're not shy coming forward. We know that you quite capable of making noises. It's been reported a lot within this castle. So come forward now, come do something. Make that noise again. It definitely came from this room in the taps. I just got into the old kitchen store and it happened and I just walked out of here. So the persons that were down here, that used to work here, can you come and talk to me tonight? Say my name is Phil, I'm quite open to talking to you, quite open to communicating with you. seems to happen at night around 3 o'clock, uh, 5 a.m. If you go across the hallway there at 3 o'clock, a few people have seen an apparition on the, on the staircase uh, where, the, where the little toilet is downstairs. That's been seen on a couple of, of occasions. And the last person who, who spoke about this saw it at 3 a.m. when they went back through the books themselves. We found a, another couple of stories and it all, all happened around the same time at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's about 11 o'clock now, so... Come on! Make that noise again. Why not? It's not bad for me. Tap twice. This is where I stood uh, last time. <coughs> I came out of that loop. Okay, can you make those noises again now? Okay, come out of that room again. Can you tap twice again for me? Knock on the bench. Could you close one of the doors or move the latch on the door? A lot of people have reported you doing this sort of thing. Can you can you do that now for me? Yeah, nothing else has happened. Been very quiet about them, them, them two noises.
or you just love one of those doors just to slam. Is everything quiet upstairs up? Yeah, it's a bit extremely quiet up here. Uh, not heard a sound to be honest at all. Yeah, I've not heard nothing since, apart from them um, noises. Well, I've just been in that room. There is a door, um, obviously going to outside, but it didn't sound like it was coming from the door area when I heard those uh, bangs. since that had happened. Say again. You want me to come down and decide what we're doing or do you want me to stay here a bit longer? Just give me another 10 minutes and then uh, we'll have a quick break in a brew if you want. Okay, so now I'm in the uh, Queen's, what's what they call the Queen's bedroom. Uh, this is where I am now. And a lot of the reports, the activity is related to this room. If you look on the wall as well there, I think there's a picture of yeah, three Queen's. So yeah, a lot of the activity reported in this room. A lot of people have woken up to a lot of rapping on doors. Uh, quite a few things have happened in here to people I believe. So come on, if there's any spirits with me in this room, in this Queen's room, I'm asking you to come forward, it was a sign that you were here. Make a noise for me. Can you tap on something? Or move a door latch? That's what apparently people do in here. brother stayed last night, that was his room. He actually slept in here. Come on, is there any spirit people with me who wish to communicate with me? Show yourself by the door you can. Move the latch on the door. Move that latch on the Queen's bedroom door. So me, my brother stayed in this in this room last night. Now uh, I was right right across the other wing, 
uh, well away from him. And um, we both took a radio to our beds last night and he, he um, gave me a call on the radio and said that he'd been here about 20 minutes, I think, and he heard like a door latch that had been moved. He said it was really, really loud. And that's what happened to him in this room last night. That's what he heard. I'm not sure what it was, but that's, that's what it sounded like. But that is again a report of everything I read is, that's a big cold draft has gone past my face. But all the things you've read, um, doors have actually been heard slamming downstairs at five o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, where doors have just gone. So, I don't know. There's also a report of um, a girl that's been seen in this room as well. Um, she wears like a white linen dress and she's dark haired and she's quite sad as well, I believe. She's also been heard crying in the chapel. Now I'll show you the chapel in a minute because that's quite interesting. Because the chapel's just next door. There's a little little opening in, in, the, in the wall here where I've actually got through into the chapel. But she's been heard so in there. Let's see what comes coming up the chapel. Let's see what we can hear. It's, it's like a little... That's it. We can't put it so down. Open that. Can you see open it? And that leads in to the chapel area where also a lot of phenomena have apparently witnessed. I'll take you in that room a little bit, but that's a little shutter that goes into the chapel, but it goes into the bedroom. So this is the uh, chapel, it used to be a little chapel. And there's a little recess uh, taking you into the room that I've just been into, which is the Queen's room. And apparently this girl who's been seen in the Queen's room has also been heard sobbing in this room. Somebody woke up in the night and heard a girl sobbing in this room and said, oh, that made me jump because the train's just gone past. <laughs> oh dear. That shit me up then, not it? It's only a very small room, it's not very big. But apparently it must be very, very active. So we've just come out of the chapel area and this is uh, the little staircase that goes down to that door there which goes outside. That's the entrance to the Queen's room, where I was earlier. And if you turn right, that leads you into the, into the King's room. Okay, there you go. You had nothing down there, no bangs or nothing. Pardon? Tapping, and then I came, came to, where, to where you're stuck now, and that's when I heard them. But it sounded like they were coming from the fireplace. But when I heard them, I was in the room where you are now. It was really loud, really loud. It was like two proper thuds, it's like a knock. Anytime I got a period, I didn't hear it was upstairs, but I just. So Maybe when we went to the chapel. Yeah, they're like faint noises. You can 
considering all the stories related to the Queen's Room and the chapel. the old guard bit wasn't it where the guards used to come down was it this was, yeah this is what this bit was <coughs> so this I don't remember if this was the guards room or not I don't really know oh bit of a strange room It's been quiet, hasn't it? Really, it has. the only thing I've heard is those two knocks down in the into the basement. What we about four hours into the investigation, and there's been absolutely nothing happened at all. Should we move on to the chapel? Yeah. Go back to the chapel and the Queen's room. I think we should actually. Yeah. Okay. Because that's where I heard the uh, the old bang last night, wasn't it? When I was in bed. Yeah. And, uh, the door latch. Well, that's been written, hasn't it? And well, I'm saying it was the door latch. It was sounding like it could have been, or certainly a sort of loud metallic sort of noise. Right, come on, let's go. On. Oh, yeah, Philip, probably need to have Yeah, so this is the, uh, just to let you all know and show you what it's like, this is the staircase. It's really steep. But apparently, this is where the soldiers used to come up the castle. So you have to, have to be really careful. I'll just shut this door behind me. Let's get down this next step. I don't know if you can see on camera how steep it is, but it's, there's no handrail either, so... I'm just shutting this door. I like onto the door now, where we're down. That's what I do. And you can see your feet are actually hanging over the steps. Down. We've made it in one piece. Do you don't think it's the sort of place that it's like an anticipated place where you just think something's gonna, like a door's just gonna bang at any moment or something like that? Even, yeah. though you, even though it's not spooky, and I'm not frightened, and I, I don't really feel like there's anything here, but you just get that anticipation that something could just happen out of the blue.
still thinking that myself. It seems quiet and quiet, doesn't it? Nothing, is it? 